Hi, welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer, your host, Mark Bays. Today we're doing a fun pumpkin beer. It's actually my first time trying it. It's considered to be world renowned. It's Elijah's uh, Night Owl. It's her pumpkin ale. Literally, uh, what the bottle's telling me is that there's seven pounds of pumpkins per barrel. Um, it's brewed with pumpkins, pumpkin seeds, ginger, cloves, cinnamon, allspice. So I'm imagining right off the bat, it's going to be about medium bodied at 5.9%. It's definitely accessible. But about medium bodied, um, I'm imagining an orange color with all those fall festive uh, flavors coming through. Definitely not too boozy. Should be just a real easy, easy going sipper. But I don't know. Stay tuned. We're going to find out. All right, so we have Night Owl poured. It looks to be, well, right off the bat, it's a very, very hazy pumpkin color. It's not too bright orange like a pumpkin would be. It has some ruby tunes to it. it almost looks like grapefruit, like a thick grapefruit color. Um, a little bit maltiness to it. The head just kind of lingers on top. It's not frothing over. Um, real tight bubbles, just oh, it's fading away really quickly. Just kind of like mist would fade away off the streets. So, that being said, we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste. All right, so we got the uh, the Elijah Night Owl Ale poured. We're gonna get a good little swirl here, really get the air in there, bring out the aromatic nose. See what it smells like. Soft pumpkin pie with uh, whipped cream right on top. Ginger's present, all spices present, a just a dash of cinnamon, not getting a lot of the clove. Literally smells like cold pumpkin pie with that whipped cream because there's a kind of a sweetness there. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Super approachable. Interesting. So I was actually imagining this would be a lot thicker than it is, and it's not, which is, that's okay. Um, very, very light bodied, light to medium. It's definitely not heavy, not too malty. It almost reminds me of the body of a Hefeweizen, um, maybe just a step up. The majority of the flavors that are coming from the pumpkin are definitely on the nose, not so much in the body. Because you smell it, you definitely get this big pumpkin flavors, but when you taste it, it's very subtle. You're actually getting more barley than you are pumpkin notes. But this is a really, uh, I think it's a pretty tasty beer, especially at 5.9%. It's going to be extremely sessionable, easily shareable. Me and my girlfriend, Rachel, we're gonna sip this bottle, get the rest of the staff so they can try some good pumpkin ale. But honestly, I would say, I mean, this is not exceptional in my opinion, but at the same time, I think it's super approachable, especially for someone who maybe doesn't drink craft beer. This is a super awesome one to get them into. So body is light to medium, definitely weedy and oaty. You do get just a touch of ginger and cinnamon in the body. but it's more of a wheat characteristic, which is making this really interesting for me. So you're getting all those festive flavors of pumpkin and pumpkin pie on the nose, but when you sip it, it drinks much, much more like an American wheat ale. Um, I am getting allspice and cinnamon and just a little bit of ginger in the palate as an aftertaste, but when you actually drink it, it tastes like you know a grapefruit colored wheat beer. Uh, Overall, it's, it's pretty good. Um, it makes it very easy to drink. So this definitely isn't is big, is not as big as, let's say, Avery's Rumpkin or uh, Jacked Imperial Pumpkin Ale by uh, Uinta. It's not one of those beers. This is just a truly easygoing, sessionable beer. It has some good legs. It's gonna have some really good lacing as you drink through it. Overall, it's pretty stellar. You know, things I'd pair this up with, you wanna go on the lighter side. So you're talking vegetables during, uh, the fall season, so you got your delicata squash, your spaghetti squash, um, acorn squash. Uh, you, you know, have fun with it. This is such a light to medium body that's going to pair up with most things that aren't too hearty and robust. You can definitely do a pumpkin pie. I think uh, the flavor of the pumpkin pie will work extremely well at the nose of this beer, and you won't be able to tell the difference between the two, which I think is probably a route that they're looking at going. So uh, overall, I mean, this is a pretty good buy. 
I know October's done and we're moving into Thanksgiving though. It's time to get into those special pumpkin beers and other other fall beers. But this is if you can still find this in the store, you should definitely pick it up. It's worth trying for sure. Especially if you like wheat ales. I mean, if you are an American unfiltered wheat fan, this is right up your alley. Except the nose is gonna have all those festive pumpkin flavors, which is nice. So with that being said, thank you for joining us at Not Your Dad's Beer. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Elijah Night Owl Pumpkin Ale. This should be on your fall list for great, great pumpkin beers. Check it out, because this is not your dad's beer.